I recently was contacted by Anycubic to do a review for their new Anycubic Mono and also their Wash and Cure station. The video for the Anycubic Mono is already live on my channel so feel free to check that out. This time I'm going to go over from what happens after you've finished printing. The prints are still full of a resin and need to be cleaned up. Now normally for this cleaning process you would need a bath of isopropyl alcohol and preferably a ultrasonic cleaner as well along with a UV curing lamp. Uh, I use one for fingernail polish but you can pretty much get any one you'd like. Now in this case these are all replaced with this Anycubic wash and cure station. The prints have now been removed from the print bed and are still full of resin. This all needs to be cleaned off before curing. So one by one they are placed in the basket and then slowly lowered into the isopropyl alcohol to start the cleaning process. The container with alcohol is now loaded with the parts and also closed up with a lid and put onto the cure station itself. I set the timer to 5 minutes for washing as these parts are nicely detailed but not really that uh, intricate at all so 5 minutes should be enough. You simply just turn the machine on by pushing the button and it starts swirling and swirling the alcohol around until the parts are of course cleaned. Halfway every minute it uh, stops again and then turns the direction around just to give it a different flow and also loosen the resin even more. The cleaning cycle is now completed so I take the container with alcohol and parts off the machine and then let the parts drip in the basket for a couple of minutes so that the excess alcohol just drops back into the container itself and you don't spill that much. A couple minutes later I slowly start removing all the parts from the basket and onto some paper towels to let it dry out even more. The machine is then converted into the curing station by putting a reflective plate underneath and then the turntable in as well and then setting it to cure and start your timer. Then the parts are placed on that turntable, the lid is put on and the machine is started. Now it is very important that the parts are dry, that there is no more alcohol on them as when you're starting the curing cycle that can turn into some weird hazy spots and also create an uneven surface. So make sure that the parts are completely dry before you start curing. And after about 10 minutes of curing you can set the timer to whatever time you'd like but 10 minutes seems suitable for me. The parts are completed. They are now nice and clean and have no more uncured resin on them so they are ready to use. These were printed on the Anycubic Mono at a 0.01 millimeter layer height and the models were from my friend Slowly's Models. I will leave links in the description down below so feel free to check those out if you want to.